Okay, now. Business leaders often assume that their company's vision, values, strategic priorities are synonyms with their company's culture. Whatever the organization vision is, their value is, their strategic strategic decisions are. They are consider, considering that that these are the company's culture. Company's culture, we have other names for that, that organization culture. We can also call that organization culture or you can also call it behavior culture. Unfortunately, too often the vision, values, strategic priorities may only be words hanging on, plug on the wall. These are just hanging on, on the wall. Inside the organization, describing profitable company. Employees will embody the values, vision, strategic priorities in their companies. Look how these values, how these visions, how these strategies are communicated to the employees. The organizations are making these written statements, they are hanging on the wall, but that need to be communicated but that must be communicated to employees. But how is it going to be communicated? Definitely. The norms, values, vision, vision and strategy, these are communicating with the, continuously, with the help of seminars, with the help of workshops, with the help of individual conversation, with the help of rituals, written materials, or body languages They're communicating look every day if you are working in an organization every day someone or someone will communicate the ideology of the organization with you the, the vision of organization with you but every day are communicating that every day through what through somehow they're communicating in a monthly, in a month, once you have a seminar, we are a top management or a leader of organization, they communicate the, the main vision of your organization. In a year, you have many seminars. We are daily on, on the same seminar. You have many seminars, but you will hear the same speech of the top management. You will hear a same speech of the top leader. They have, you're hearing the same speech which he, com he communicated, he wanted to transfer the information. He wanted to transfer whatever has idea is in, in EU world. He wanted, the top management wanted, they wanted to connect, to connect your objective with our organization objective. Continuously, look, when they are giving a speech, continuously they are saying that. In their speech they are saying that this is not my organization, that is your organization. You guys or you res respectable people will do these, these, uh, some sort of task. You guys will do these, 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 these things. A lot of, you know, they put a lot of responsibilities on you. Again and again, they're saying in their speech that this is our home. This is your home. We live like a family. We are a family members. Now what? They're just creating a boundaries with you, making creation a link with you. Now you just trying to make like a emotionally blackmailing you that you believe that, yeah, this is my place. Yeah, because they're paying me. I have to deliver. I have to deliver with the full of my emotions, feelings to that organization to make me succeed it. Now, ultimately, ultimately, you are putting a loss of effort to achieve the organization objective. To achieve your objective, sorry. To achieve your objective because they're connected there. This is your objective. This is not an organization objective. Now, when you, are, when you are achieving your objective, ultimately, you are achieving the organization objective. 
So they they are trying to connect. They are trying to emotionally connect you with our organization. They're trying to mentally connect you with emotional feelings, with telling a lot of stories, with telling a lot of sad stories, with telling a lot of hardship of your definitely he will stop with a tough time that I have faced a lot of tough time working day and night. A lot of things, you know, a lot of, you know, emotional, emotionally, he will start with the emotional speech. Now from that place, you're feeling that, oh, I must, I must deliver here. I must deliver. That's what, now they are communicating that with the help of workshops, discussing conversation, individual conversation, coming towards you, giving you a lot of values, giving you respect, integrity. Somehow they take you for a party. Somehow they take you for uh, any home celebration. You know, without anything. Nothing will happen that you'll go for a celebration. Celebrating things. And here and there, they are sharing the view of the organization. Investing small amount and taking huge things from you as a, as a tactics of leader of a top management. They want to take out the work out of you. They take out the best out of you. Now moving on. Norms. Norms. Norms are organized and shared ideas regarding what members should do. Look, once, look, we came from the top. We came from perception. In perception, the top management draw perception and he communicates to the members and the members understand that perception and draw belief and they, you know, ultimately they create a value for that. Now, in the norms, in here, it is compulsory that I have to do that. It's compulsory that a person should do this. And norms, norms are organized and share ideas regarding what members should do or and be, how this behavior should be regulated, what section should be applied when behavior does not concede with the social expectation. Once you accept and the value, now in here they're making a lot of rules and regulations. They're telling you that, and norms are telling you that. What is your role and responsibilities? What you have to do? Okay, let's suppose if you are, haven't done this, what will be, what, you know, how section will be applied on you? What sort of, you know, punishment will be given to you? That's what in, in the norms are we have. You know, the values and behavior of the every organization are unique. Every organization is having individual unique values for the organization. Like that. As you said it. Like some organizations their values are what honesty and integrity. Some organizations they have quality products, providing quality products. Some organizations, they're trying to provide quality service. And some of you have that they're very keen to customer service, to deliver customer, you know, customer service oriented organization. So every organization has been different, you know, the value board. But once the values are accepted, that will be, you know, that will be uh, applicable. It should that make a rules and law that it should be going on like this. Organization norms are developed from organization values, which are reflected in the kind of behavior and employees, employee exhibit in a particular situation, as we discussed that earlier. And perception, and perception like, uh, for example, uh, inside, the, inside the seminar, inside the meeting or seminar, the leader explain what he or she, what he or she wants. Now he explain, explain. Now, when you understand when you understand the, that perception that what you want, they'll ask you that you got it. You said, yes, we got what you, 
aim for. We got what you want for. We got what we are hired for. So now they said, okay, fine, you got it. Now saying that, now after that, so in the next day, the next day a letter will be issued. And after that, the Allah a rules is passed that employee will do 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 this 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 this, this things. So Allah, so whatever whatever you heard inside the meeting, and now after a day, after two days, it will come in a shape of in a written shape, and it will be a policy, and every person is bound to do that. So it's come from perception. You understand the the values, and after the values, it converts to the norms. It's compulsory on you. If you do it, if you want to stay here, you have to do this. If you want, they will kick you out. Look. Norms are, we have two types of norms. Pivotal norms and preferred norms. Pivotal norms and preferred norms. Pivotal norms, the important, no, very important norms, which uh, the norms which cannot be compromised. Like uh, you have to do this. You have to follow that. You have to, for example, lose it, uh, your task. Once the organization assign you a task, you have to do this. That is a pivotal note. Pivotal means important, very important. You cannot deny, you cannot leave yourself. You cannot hide yourself from that note, from that activity, from that job, from that task. You cannot hide it. But preferred notes, it is very, you know, a preferred note is what that is a, uh, a little bit compared to me. Pivotal notes is very, it's not that much important. So some, somehow, someday you can deny that. For example, all the week from from monday to from monday to saturday from monday to saturday you have to come into dress code you have to come in dress code but only only friday only friday only friday you wear a shalwar kameez so and so it means this sort of this sort of norms is what a preferable norm only it's, it is preferable on it's a preferable preferable means it's according to your choice only in a, in a day off, um, in a day, in, a, in, a, in one day, not on all the day, only in one day it's a preferable, a preferable norms and the rest of that total norms. And another thing that like a, some organizations, they believe that they are task oriented organization. They believe that for us employing, the task is very important. The job is very important. The, the task which is assigned, the completion of the task is very important. That is, the task is a pivotal norms for organization. But what if the employee wear whatever they wear, whatever they wear, what, what sort of haircut they come, with what sort of dress code they come, that, that's a preferable norm. We said, we don't care about these things, but we care about uh, that, we care about uh, task. Like, uh, as I give you last time, example of uh, Tolo News and as well as uh, some shop, yeah. Tolo News, what is that dress oriented? They are very much oriented the dress code. That dress code must be, their pivotal norms is the dress code. They, they will not allow any employees without dress code. But and some shop, uh, they are not that much bound to dress code. They say that whatever you wear, whether you come with a shalwar coming, whether you come with casual clothes, whether you come with a dress code, it's up to you. So we are not taking, uh, grab you on this portion. But uh, it's up to you, whatever you wear. I think that's enough for today. Yes, it doesn't.